Hello friends, welcome to BISPRunnings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm here with my new video in Python machine learning. And the topic for today video is face morphing using OpenCV. So you might have heard this term face morphing, morphing couple of times and you might be wondering what exactly face morphing is and how can we achieve this face morphing using Python. So OpenCV is a uh, is a package or just a library available in Python which can be used to perform a lot of operations like face recognition or license plate recognition. Uh, you can go through my previous videos on open CVs where I have demonstrated various scenarios uh, of recognizing patterns or recognizing or reading barcodes and extracting data out of the barcodes. So this is my next video in that and today uh, I'm going to tell you how to perform face morphing. So first of all, what exactly face morphing is or morphing? So basically morphing is an interpolation technique used to create a series of intermediate objects from two objects. So basically morphing means uh, we are, it's a technique, it's a methodology which is used to create a series of or combine two objects into one into a single and display the result. Uh, in continuation of that face morphing, it automatically extracts the features point on the face and morphing is performed. So basically uh, we have two images, two different pictures, two different images or phot photographs and we are going to combine them into one. Uh, and this can be achieved by using face morphing example. So let me show you one example of face morphing and uh, then we'll try to understand more what exactly face morphing is. As you can see this image, there are two separate images. This is the image, uh, this is first image and we have another image, second image and uh, uh, both of the images, they are combining, they are morphing using this image library or this open source face morphing library. So similar kind of functionality I'm going to do here. I have got a, uh, I got two separate images, two separate pictures, and I'm going to uh, combine both of the images into one and find out the results. So basically, uh, when we talk about this face morphing, so there are certain procedures which we need to follow uh, for face morphing procedure first of all we need to we need to identify the facial image and we need to find out the eye finder and mouth finder so these are the feature points because whenever we are whenever we are trying to morph two images so the common points the common things are in two images will be their eyes and mouth so based on that we'll find out the feature points or we call them as a feature finder and based on that we create a morph images so basically there are two images we split images according to the feature point so we we uh, segregate the images based on eye finder and mouth finder and we images according to the feature points and then we use the coordinate transformation and then we cross dissolve the image with weighting so be, uh, whenever we uploaded two images we write logics to uh, identify their coordinates for eye uh, for eyes and mouth we store them into a separate file and then by reading those coordinates we morph an image so uh, there are certain typical morphing examples which you might get to know which you might get to see uh, in some videos online videos or whenever we watch some movies we saw that the uh, girl has been transformed is the girl has been transformed into a line or into a into any uh, in a species or any person is uh, is changing its uh, its transformation into a, in a in another species that is an example of morphing so there are certain pre processing we identify the coordinates then the coordinate transformations done and finally we cross dissolve them with the help of morphing so uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I got some images and uh, uh, I will be going to read those images and then we are going to morph those pictures. 
so for your ease i have uh, let me show you the ready made code which i am using so and i'll explain this ready made code for you you can find out this code in the github library the link which is shared within the under this after this video so you can see the uh, the the packages which are required numpy and cv2 cv2 is an open source package which you can install by using pip command and we would be requiring system commands also then we are then we i created a function for read points so basically we would be reading points from the text files and with open file so uh, for two separate images we used to have two different files so we split them and append them into one array then uh, apply this is for apply a fine transform so we have so we would be transforming the calculated using uh, source try and destination try uh, to source and output an image of size so we created this function and here we so basically there are certain uh, so this cv2 has got a function called get fine transform this is an inbuilt function which is available with open source and here i pass the source try source coordinates and destination coordinates so i'm giving a pair of triangle find the affine transformation so basically transformation will be looking for the uh, eyes and the mouth basically and it uh, the transformation will be done according to that then we apply the uh, affine transform just to found to the source image and that's the dst and we finally wrap them together using border mode border reflect and uh, border reflect cv again it contains border reflect is a uh, is a uh, is a library available within cv2 that's a border mode this is actually morph triangle where we would be passing both the images and both the images are transforming into a single image so as you can see we have result 1 result 2 and that's the final r so basically we are find bounding rectangle for each triangle and then we are going we are setting up the offset points so these uh, we are going to set the offset points by left top corner of respective rectangles so for example if i'm uh, for this example the images which i'm using let me show you the images which i'm going to use uh, that's in my uh, so i'm using one image is for donald trump and another image i'm using for hillary clinton and my objective is to morph these two images into one so once we execute this the final output we would be getting in the form of uh, when we execute this we'll get the final result so that will display so we are forming this and the triangle it is looking for the image size and the coordinate so the triangle which we are I'm talking about this uh, uh, this triangle the offset points so that would be depends on the image coordinates or image size and uh, then we would be appending the points or the coordinates and then finally we would be masking by filling the triangle so that's the masking is done and fill convex poly this function uh, this function will help in masking from at this particular coordinate so and finally we are uh, this function this is used for blend uh, alpha blended rectangular patches so the result image will find out some alpha patches so it looks like that the two image has been morphed together and then we copy the triangular region of the rectangular patch to the output image by using this method then finally uh, when we are use uh, when we are going to run this so that's our main function so first of all i said two file names file name one file name two hillary clinton dot jpg and donald trump dot jpg i said the alpha as 0.5 so that the image morphing will be done uh, at 0.5 level then uh, cv2 has a function called i am read i am read is to read images and convert that image into coordinates right find out the images coordinates or we can say uh, it, it it reads the image coordinates 
and those image coordinates we we converted into flow 32 using uh, numpy array and it stores into img1 and img2 and then we are reading points out of it so basically we are reading the array of corresponding points from both the text files so file name 1 file name 2 and as you can see here we need to uh, we need to have the points also uh, let me open this so these are the uh, you can say these are the coordinates for the image for both the images so if, uh, to uh, to morph two images is necessary that we convert an image we we find out an image uh, we find out the coordinates of an image and this for to uh, you can find out the coordinates of an image from an uh, we can convert it by go googling it and passing the image and it will it will return an uh, number file to us or coordinates for us then finally uh, we computed weightage average point coordinates and we allocate space for the final output because i'm not sure what would be the size and what would be the type so i'm assigning a space for final output and we this is basically uh, we are reading from the try.txt so this try.txt is this file that's the uh, this file also holds some coordinates and basically this re uh, it would be reading the triangles from try.test and uh, then we call this morph triangle function where we are passing image one image two morph image we are looking for that's the source and the t1 and t2 and the points and finally the alpha so basically it will call this morph triangle function and finally uh, so basically we it would be morphing the one triangle at a time because it's in a while loop and finally once the morphing is completed it will display the result as a morph face and uh, this is just displays not store anywhere now let me test it so for testing it what i'm doing i visit this uh, uh, like the, the the location for this file is c drive python 3732 face morph and face morph.py so i simple run python face morph.py and when i run it uh, those two files you can as you can see here both the files are morphed together and this is the final output now if you want to have a look once again these are our original files and if we look at the output the output you can see both the images are morphed so their eyes their mouth so it has been morphed together so uh, we can uh, and also here also so we can increase or decrease the triangle values the coordinates can be changed and based on that we can try to morph an image properly so there are a lot of other examples for face morphing there are a lot of other scenarios where face morphing will be used so face morphing will be used most of the time in uh, image animation or in uh, face recognition or if we want to uh, if you want to combine two images or perform some task we can use this face morphing scenario so uh, that's all in this video if you have some queries you can post your comment in comment box uh, we would be happy to help you out. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates on OpenCV package library to find out more updates on it. Or if you want to have a customized training on uh, Python machine learning concepts, for that you can contact us on the address mentioned or the URL mentioned in the uh, below. So that's all. Thanks for watching once again. Have a nice day. Goodbye.